Hello! In this video, I shall derive a formula for the sum of this GP. So to, to start, I'm going to let S n be the sum of of this GP, the sum of n the first n terms of this GP. So the last term is as as we have seen the last term is a r to the power of n minus 1 okay well, actually let me um, let me include the next to last term as we'll see why in a moment so the last two terms would look like this. So the last term is a to the power of n minus 1, so the one before that must be uh, ar to the power of n minus 2. Okay, in order to obtain the sum, a formula for the sum, the standard way to do it is to multiply, is start by multiplying this, uh, both sides of this equation by r. Okay, I'll multiply by r here, r as n on the left, and then on the right if I multiply this whole lot by, by r. Okay, let's see what we get. a becomes a r, a r times r is a r squared, a r squared times r is a r cubed plus dot 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 plus this times r would be a r n minus 1 plus this times r would be a r to the power of n. And then the next step is to subtract them. I'll, I'll take this, um, let's see. Okay, uh, what I'll do is I'll take this minus this. So if I take this minus this, I'll get as n minus r as n. And when I take this minus this, okay, that looks like uh, quite complicated, lots of terms to to subtract. But notice that I have a r here and a r here. Okay, notice that many of these terms are, are common. I have a r squared here and a r squared here. I have a r cube here and there must be an a r cube there which I have not written out. And if you keep going, you see that nearly all of the terms are common, except maybe the first and the last. So this is exactly the same as this, a r to the power of n minus 1. And a r to the power of n minus 2 must be the same as the term before this one which must be here. So if I subtract this, these two, if I take the first sequence minus the second sequence, okay, if I do that, these two terms will cancel, those two will cancel, this will cancel with one here and so on, um, and this two will cancel, and this will cancel with the one before, before this, which is there, and in between they must surely all cancel. Um, so that that's really really convenient. All right, they're almost all gone. And so let's look at what remains. We have a up there. Okay, I can copy it out. And I have this one down here. Remember that we are taking the top equation minus the bottom equation. So so for this one, uh, this will be subtracted. So I get minus a r n. And that's all. That's all we have, right? From two very long, 
complicated looking equations, I now have a much shorter equation. And remembering that uh, I, I want to find a formula for the sum of this sequence, and that Sn represents the sum, if you look at this equation now, Sn is actually what we want to find. We, we want to find a formula for Sn, which is the sum. So if I think of Sn as the unknown, I, I want to solve for Sn, make Sn the subject. I can start by factoring out Sn. So I get Sn times bracket 1 minus r equals to, um, since I have a and a uh, as a common factor, I can also factorize this, or I can leave it as it is, but uh, I'll just factorize it. And now we see that we can actually solve for Sn. Just divide both sides by 1 minus r. So Sn is equal to a times 1 minus rn over 1 minus r. And this is the formula for the sum of a GP.